This video was made possible through a grant from the Haas Corporation. The Geek Group would like to thank Haas for their continued support in helping encourage innovation in design and manufacturing in America. The Geek Group proudly features ISCAR tooling in all of our workshops, videos, and hackerspaces around the globe. Hi there guys, I'm Chris Bowden. And I'm Niskar Rick. Welcome to the Geek Group. In this video, it's all about e-stop. E-stop, emergency e -stop. stop. Big, big red button. Now I know using this for pretty much two main things. Uh, having to get in and out of the machine, doing stuff like that, where you're like climbing around in there. Good, um, yep. Like, you know, just safe access. Sure. And I know it for, oh dear God, expensive sounds. Yeah, oh yeah. It's got other uses, it's used a lot. Mm -hmm. So, take us through some of that. Common practice is to, you know, when you're done for the end of the day, is to push the e-stop before you power the machine down. And what's the reason for that? I don't know. It's um, just, a, just a practice. It's, it, I don't see any bad coming from it. It's, I think you can power the machine down without doing the e-stop, but it's just, it's just a practice I've done over the years. For every... I've, I've heard about it from, like, on, on old machines and that, where sure. you do that so that when you turn it on, it's something about power surge and stuff Could like be. that. Could so... be. On the electrical side, yeah, I don't know. Okay, but it's just a safe practice thing. Right. Punchy, you stop at the Doesn't end of the Doesn't hurt. Okay. Okay. What else? When something's going wrong. You forgot to tighten the part in the vise, um, bad things like that, and, and for every second that you don't push that button, the, you know, it could be $100 a second, you know, and maybe an hour, you know, reset up. Now, you know? you're required at this point to give an example of some time when you needed to push the big red button. Uh, there's, I've never pushed the big red button much. <laughs> yeah, I've pushed it a lot. <laughs> um, it's all part of the learning process. Some, you know, something goes wrong, you, you know, yeah, thought you tightened the part in the vise, and the face mill comes down and the block of steel weighs 20 pounds. And here comes a four inch face mill that cost a thousand dollars. And it's hard to cut things when they're not bolted down. <laughs> You know, and you hear that terrible grinding sound, and then it, it slides off the table into the chip auger, and you can't run fast enough to find this button. Okay. Yep. Or something's really bad and been on my knees, reaching for the button, trying to find it. Okay. Yep. And that's an important point to make, that this happens a lot. The moment you get complacent, the absolute moment you don't respect this machine, it will give you a vicious reminder. Oh, yes. If you're lucky, all you have to do is push the button. So now, how is this as a, a, a last resort kind of thing? Is this It is last your last resort. resort. That's, That's it. There's is... no other option than that. Okay. Either that or look for a job. <laughs> okay. Now, what are... This isn't the only way to get the machine to stop doing what it's doing. Sure. You feed hold. Feed hold will stop the motion. But the spindle's still running. The coolant's still on. Okay. All right. It's just waiting for you to hit cycle start. Now, if you're in the middle of doing something mm -hmm. and you scare yourself, sure, just like ah, I wasn't I can, ready for that. You can feed hold, slow down your slow down your rapids. Okay. If you're doing a setup or running something for the first time, you know you slow down your rapids, slow down your feed rates, and watch it. Easy way to do is just to check it on the screen. Does it look right? Okay. Then are your touch offs, your height offsets set? Have all that set and everything? You should be good, but still use some caution. Okay. This is the first first rodeo. Now, as I I could be wrong on this, but as I understand it. Feed hold, we chill out for a minute, and you can go, if you're in the middle of a program, you, you can go on. back in and drool. Yep. But if you hit e-stop, you're starting, you're starting from beginning. Yes. So if you're in the middle of some huge program, you're going to go all the uh, way back, back to, to the beginning. beginning. Okay. Yes. Now, there's some other stuff with feed hold mm -hmm. um, that I, I see people use it a lot, a lot more sure. than e-stop. You can take and hit feed hold and then stop, shut the coolant off and stop the spindle. Okay. At that point there, the machine is stopped. You can open the doors and check how much do I, I need to measure. I need to just double check, just okay. to make sure. And then we're good. You can shut the doors, turn the spindle back on, turn the coolant back on, and continue on. All right, so I had learned this a lot as anytime you reach this, I'm coming at this from a printing press sure. type of education. With a printing press, you don't reach into the machine at all unless right. he stops on. That's okay. a big deal. Yes. But with this, if you're just getting a measurement or something, you know, just, just reaching in to get a measurement or tweak or something. Or blow it off just to check it to see if you've, uh, spot, it was my spot drill deep enough. Okay. Yes. That's, that's feed hold. Right. You're not going to climb in the machine. Yeah. No, if, no. If you have to actually no, do yeah, something, absolutely. you stop. But you're not doing, that's not the kind of thing that you do no. when you're running it's a program. A, like you run through and you spot drilled a bunch of holes and the tool retracts before it makes a tool change. Well, let's see where we're at. 
Okay. You know, you could stop everything, open the doors, use the air hose, clear it off. Oh, that looks good. And or, you just, it's just, oh, okay, we're good. Sure, yep, and shut okay. the doors, turn things back on, and continue on. Okay. You're not changing parts or nothing like that. But anytime you're doing anything serious, right. e-stop. Oh, yeah. But oh, definitely. you wouldn't be doing that in the middle of a program, so it wouldn't screw up program anyway, so exactly. you're fine. Yep. Okay, cool. All right, so that's that's e-stop. That's e All right. You guys have fun. I'm Chris Bowden. I'm Miss Car Rick. And as always, we'll see you next time. This video was made possible in part by Mastercam, whose CAD CAM software provides the base to all code generated for Geek Group CNC projects. The Geek Group would like to extend our deepest gratitude to the Gene Haas Foundation for making this program possible. Thanks to their generous contribution, we are able to train and inspire machinists all around the globe. Operating the CNC machines in this video risks personal injury and mechanical damage. Hazards may include electricity, untrained operation, airborne toxins, flying debris and noise, fire and explosions, poor shop upkeep, sharp tooling, projectiles, loose clothing, inadequate clamping, automatic operation, automatic tool changer, unsupported bar, over-tightened steady rest, lack of enclosure, and impact. This video was made possible by a grant from the Future Girl Foundation. This video was made possible by thousands of private donations from members and viewers like you. Please visit thegeekgroup.org for more information on how you can donate and become a part of our dreams of Avalon.